Hi everybody, welcome to a new series of tutorials. This time is with uh, Base Leveler. So, if you uh, go back to some of the videos I previously created, you will find that there is a video called Maze Rider, the Auto Leveler. And this is very much uh, um, a new app which works in a similar way, but um, it is focused on bass sound and bass frequencies. So, um, and, and that's the beauty of it, really. It works exactly as a bass leveler, so if you uh, need to have a, a more in-depth uh, um, tutorial, uh, look back at that video where I will explain exactly how uh, the different control works. Um, in terms of uh, uh, showing you a tutorial here, we have a, a file player inside an audio channel and then I have added the, the base leveler as an effect. So it can work, it can work as a, an audio instance, in this case inside the AUM, um, or it can also work as a standalone. Before I go into the demonstration, I'd just like to remind you that uh, I have uh, a number of free codes for this application. So if you would like to enter the competition to have a chance to win uh, a free code for this application, just send an email to soundformore at gmail.com. And as always, you need to be subscribed in order to be entered in the competition. So let's start. So let's open uh, the base leveler and also maximize the window. And what I'm going to do is just uh, play really a track which I previously composed using uh, Call Gadget, and I'm going to show you that um, um, how base level of works against that uh, file. Okay, so if you go back to the main Rider video, you will uh, see that this is called a target uh, um, handle. Okay, and we have uh, also an overall gain, and we have two um, bound range handlers as well, together with two dials, one for smooth and one for sensitive or sensitivity. Um, so you can increase the overall gain, like so. And as you can hear, it is increasing the base part of the waveform, not all of it. Of course, we can change the target handle up and down. And as you can see, the waveform is adjusted um, automatically. And of course, we can decide how much we want to adjust positively or negatively the waveform uh, just moving up and down uh, the range bound handler. So this one for the top and this one for the bottom. Um, if you want to change how quickly um, the base level responds to changes, so you, cha you use this dial called sensitive. And if you want to change the way that it reacts to the shape changing of the waveform, then use this move dial. Okay, so let's try again. Remember, the main difference with Maze Rider is this acts uh, on the base frequencies, so on the base itself, not overall on the waveform, and uh, it tricked me as well the first time that uh, I used it. It is very good, of course, because uh, it allows you to automate effectively um, adjustment of base levels, which is really cool if you want to include it, for example, in different tracks inside uh, AUM or your preferred door or host. So, okay, so I hope you enjoyed. It's a short introduction to base level, but after all, it is a simple tool to use, but very effective. So as always, see you next time, bye.